Hello and welcome to the video. This is an overview of this new piece of hardware from Cadix FPV. This is the Goggle X expansion module. This part number is WNO2 FP007. I'll put a link down below. Now, when these goggles came out, one of the big criticisms of them was that it didn't allow for analog FPV. Now, inside there is actually a gyro and accelerometer designed for the head tracking. And those of you that watch the channel regularly will have seen last weekend I did a video actually showing the head tracking in use with the Goggles L. And I've been waiting for Cadix FPV to turn on that same functionality with the head tracker in these goggles. Because if it has the accelerometer and the gyro inside, it's just a firmware thing, right? Well, it appears that Cadix FPV and Walksdale have decided that actually, no, that wasn't good enough. What we actually needed was to add a magnetometer to an external gyro and accelerometer to give a similar level of performance to the Goggles L. And if they're going to do that, then why don't they make a module and make it so that we can plug in an analog FPV receiver into this too. So this thing actually does two jobs. One. It allows you to get your analog FPV feed into your goggles. So for all of those pilots who were very critical of these goggle X's when they came out because they didn't have an analog input, even though it has an AV input at the side, guess what? It's now here, it, that's provided. But also for those of you that like the idea of the pan and tilt head tracking stuff, it's now available in this too. Now there's only one thing I need you to make aware of with this. When you order the kit, you get the box itself with all the electronics in. That's actually made from some form of metal. Uh, it's not very heavy, which I guess is what you want if it's gonna be stuck on the outside of your goggles. But as well as that, you get an additional power cable. I'll show you how to plug it all together in a moment. You also need this additional cable that has a four pole connector on the end and a five pole connector on the other end, three and a half millimeter jack. This is a very specific cable that you need to plug into the unit, into the side of the goggles, that not only sends the analog FPV image into the goggles, but also crucially sends all of the head tracking information to and from the goggles as well. That three and a half millimeter jack cable is not included in the kit. It actually came as part of the upgrade heat sink kit. Really confused about why that isn't part of this package, because surely those who are buying the goggles now, the upgraded heat sink is in there already, so you might not have that cable kicking around. Luckily, I ordered one of the upgraded heat sinks, so I have the cable too. Now, one of the things I really like about this is this is a free upgrade that's available to those of us who have the Goggle Xs. So the eligibility, so you have to be an owner of the Goggle X and purchased from cadixfpv.com and you can claim one extension board for the Goggle X that you have. If you purchased it from a Waxnail dealer, then you need to contact that dealer directly to get hold of this thing. Be aware that although the unit is free, the shipping might not be. And you go through the website and you fill in a particular form that has a verification process to verify your information that you are a Goggles X orderer. And then once they've done that, they'll send the extension board to you. And up till the 1st of March 2025, it will continue to be free. So if you want to have a play with this thing, then you can go on the website and get hold of one. But again, be very careful that if you haven't got this five pole, four pole, three and a half millimeter stereo style cable, you are going to need that. So you're going to have to email support at cadixfpv.com. I really wish they'd have just put that cable in the package and just made it super simple. If they're going to solve the cost of producing these things and allowing them to be at zero cost on the website, why not stick that little cable in? I don't imagine it's a very expensive part. Installation is really simple and straightforward. You just take all the bits out. In there is a double-sided sticky pad. There is the unit itself and also the power cable. You just use the sticky pad to pop it on the top. Make sure that these white openings here, these ports are facing forward so the head tracker is the right way round. Then plug in the power cable into the goggles and the unit. That's gonna be now where you plug your battery cable into. And finally, most importantly, get the three and a half millimeter jack thing. Make sure that the four pin end goes into the unit and the five pin end or the five pin portion goes into the goggles. It's important to get those the right way around for everything to work. To use, 
you just power everything up. The unit is going to power the AV module that you have in the top and then to switch between the normal walk snail reception and the AV input, you then press and hold the return button for five seconds and that will switch you across and you'll magically have your analog image on those nice big screens inside your goggles. Head tracking is the same as the goggles L so you need to go into the menu select PTZ and then make sure you're on the latest versions of stuff and then press the middle button three times to center the head tracking. Very similar to what I've already shown. I put a link down below to that video where I showed that head tracking stuff in action. Basically by adding this, it gives you that functionality. I do like the fact that they are offering this update for free, minus the shipping, but I personally would have preferred an internal solution for the head tracking stuff and not have to also have something bolted on the outside that can do two jobs. These goggles were designed to be modular so that things could be replaced and upgraded over the life of the goggles. This would have been a great opportunity to really show that technology and give us a new board inside that had the improved head tracking bits and pieces. Guessing this is either simpler or it's cheaper for them to do it this way, but it takes what looks like a nice set of goggles, well, as nice as FPV goggles get, and makes it look like a Borg's wet dream. I personally would have liked some kind of clip that you use so you could clip this onto the top when you were using it and take it off when you're not. That sticky pad is very strong so once this sucker's on there make sure you're lining it up perfectly because this is kind of a one-shot deal. It will come off but you're probably going to destroy the pad and end up having to find some more sticky stuff. Having some kind of clip on even really nice high-end velcro would have probably been a better bet. There is also an upgrade kit, so you can upgrade this. Uh, this is the one that I've got here. Part number is COPJSJ001. This will allow you to update and change module settings. So if updates come out, I will make an additional video on that. And it is interesting that so many of the ports are exposed here at the end. It personally for me, makes it look a little bit ugly. I might just put some black tape over here to stop them getting all kinds of bits of rubbish stuck in them. But also, it's interesting that these are here. Maybe that would allow this module to be used in other situations, or they had another idea in mind. It's odd that these are here, where at this setup, they're kind of not doing anything at all. In practice and play here, the unit's working very well. For those who want a head tracker tick, it's going to give you that. For those who want the analog reception for the tiny whoops or whatever, I know when I asked the question uh, back in August, who was flying a combination of both HD and analog, the biggest reason for people staying with analog was their investment in things like whoops. I guess with this, it now means that you can have one goggle that you can take to the field, even though the module and plugging in some kind of analog module at the top with the antennas make it look incredibly goofy and really spoil the looks of it. I would have preferred this module rather than just being a discrete little box to have some kind of design about it, some design that kind of flowed with the goggles. But really what I would have loved would have been the head tracking piece available as a PCB that went inside the goggles so you didn't have to have all this stuff bolted on the outside. So I guess great that it's a free thing minus the shipping that you can get from the website or the dealer that you bought your Goggle X from, but I'm a little disappointed that it isn't a little bit slicker, particularly bearing in mind how these Goggle Xs were positioned as the upgradable Goggle. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.